hello and welcome to another living in Portugal video so this time I will be talking about the restoration and the renovation of this structure this part is attached to the garage it used to be uh, the stalls area where they kept the chickens or the animals so when we got here this was a, a big mess it's, it's, it's a different kind of mess now but it was a mess in terms of there was um, manure everywhere and uh, all the all the feces from animals it hadn't been cleaned in probably 10 or 15 years seems like it and the wood was rotten had been eaten up by borer beetles woodworm whatnot so that we all removed that took probably about a week or so of removing all of that and then we uh, cleaned all of the nastiness out and we discovered that there were nice concrete floors under every single uh, pen if you like to call it that there used to be then all of this was all boxed in the doorways in each area made all of that clear that up there used to be uh, chicken coops over here made out of wood but, uh, just clean it up in general uh, this window has been replaced the old window you just had to look at it and it fell apart this is an uh, old uh, window from the kitchen in the house a wooden window but still in quite good condition same as that one over there is an old bathroom window from another house that one's an uh, aluminium double glazing sliding window there's also an older aluminium window that's a cement mixer over here we got like a floating type of floor so it's just beams and I guess they would wash the animals in here or something so all the water would drain away into the ground and now it's just a nice storage area so when the trailer is not in use for my tractor it sits right in here I opened up the wall this wall used to come to over here so just that little bit more this where the wood is I replaced that it's the, the old wood was all rotten as well and this is from all the door frames and it's all been varnished so there we can see the brickwork of the garage that's how it looked like inside the garage as well so we clean the paint brushes here so every time we've been painting just clean the excess off on the wall so this roof has been replaced as well as the old roof they used oak beams untreated just raw oak so after a while well you can guess what happened the wood were munched on it and the, the old roof tiles were flat roof tiles and they have been replaced with these with style as well as we've got some gloss roof tiles you can also get them in uh, plastic type of uh, roof tile which is a, a polycarbonate but uh, gloss is uh, stronger and it's e easier to clean it doesn't to fade or get damaged by the sun so these are all gloss roof tiles for natural light in a roof like this so how much do they cost? Well, one glass roof tile is about 10 euros. So, they're not that cheap to do, but they do give some light. At the moment, there's a storm coming, so that's why it's looking dark here, but on a nice sunny day, it's light enough to see exactly what you're doing, which saves having to turn the lights on and saves electricity. All right. Uh, the, the brand is uh, Vidro, no, no, Vidre Export Portugal, so it's all made in Portugal. And these are laminated wooden beams, guaranteed for 30 years. As the old structure here was made out of wood, so you have to replace the wood with wood. 
If you wanted to do concrete, you have to get a project and permission. The stairs, old stairs were rotten. So we just put those in. The foundation was failing of the garage, so we've re reinforced it. These beams now support the roof, as the old beams they were directly into the brick wall and slowly slipping out. It could use a tidy up at some stage, replastering. That's okay. We can see over here that there is some natural light coming through and it's separating. That should be okay for a while. So here you see OSS is the movers I use when I move from Australia to Portugal. By the way. So the doors, this one is the original steel door, although I've repaired it at the bottom. This one I've recently repaired or re replaced the frame, the panel is original, just the framework was rotten out and the woodworm had a feast on it. We can see that for now this one is still strong, but there are signs of woodworm. Now this is an original chicken coop area, but being made from concrete and brick, would have been hard work to remove it, so it's now my scrap metal corner. So you got electrical wires, steel wires, over there is copper, brass, aluminium, alloy, steel, 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 and up top we got large pieces of aluminium and stainless steel. There's also a box full of steel, some roof panel, an old bed frame. Alright, I think that covers that. These poles were already here and can be seen they are they look like they are old electrical poles. That's okay. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.